so how long has it been since your last face exam? It's been a while. Yeah. Well, the truth is, you look to have absolutely beautiful skin. Absolutely porcelain quality. But I'm going to take a deep dive and have a, a more in-depth look at, um, at the surface of your, of your skin. So, first things first, let's just check that we have all the necessary ingredients. We've got two eyes, we have a nose, we have a mouth, we have two ears. Let me just check if you look over there. And if you look somewhere over there, I'll just shift the hair out of the way. Yeah. We have another ear there. So far, so good. We have a chin. We have two cheeks. Got a brow line. We have a forehead and we have a jawline good very distinct jawline let's just check on the other side mm -hmm. yeah has anyone ever told you you're very symmetrical yeah you should be in movies um let me just check you've got a hairline yeah, so you have all the requisite qualities for me to be able to do a face exam. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a good feel around your face. Do I have your permission to touch you? Yeah, good, 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 good. good. All right, so we'll first just feel around the orbits of your eyes. And what I'm checking is any lumps or bumps or any break or notches in the bone, bony orbit that we need to be concerned with. Check your For the duration of this exam, I need you to close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, just so I can do my work unimpeded and I can also check the um, integrity of the skin on your, your eyelids as well. Okay, so I'm just talking of which, I'm just going to be running my hand, my thumbs rather down the side of your eyelids. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. Perfect. All right, keeping your eyes closed, I'm just going to be feeling down the side of your nose. Okay, actually, we come in just a little bit closer. And <clears throat> excuse me. It's gonna be running my hand. My finger rather down the side of your nose. Perfect. And again on the other side. And I'm just checking for Anything lurking beneath the surface of the skin that we need to be worried about. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I'm going to have a feel of your cheekbones, so just 
Empress on your left side. You're doing well, okay? You don't need a break or anything now? Good, okay. So let's have a let's press on the other side. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And your lips. Okay. So remember to keep your eyes closed, okay? This might be a little bit ticklish along your your um your lips, but I'm just pressing in. See if there's any lumps under the surface of the skin. Mm-hmm. If you turn your head just a tad, and I'm just going to start a look and just run my fingers just along your jawbone. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have perfect proportions, and there's no lumps or bumps, which is cool. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my two fingers and I'm going to just slide them uh, along your brow and down the side of your face. So again, this will tell me whether I find any, um, uh, any lumps or bumps underneath the surface. So simply relax and remember to keep those eyes closed. So, here we go. I'm just going to on my two fingers along your brow line and just above your brow line and feel along your forehead and down your temples to your cheekbone I said your skin looked as though it was made of porcelain. I'm beginning to think it actually is made of porcelain because it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay, just try with the other hand. I'm going to go this time in the opposite direction. So, just to warn you. You won't be able to tell because you have your eyes closed. So, there you go. It's going to... Just run my fingers just along your... Your brow. And... Along your forehead. Down your... sides at the same time, just to double check. Yeah. Wow. It's my lucky day, having a patient like you. Okay, 
So, now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a closer look at you with some lights, which is just as well because you have your eyes closed, so you won't be blinded by the by the lights that I'm going to be shining in your eyes, uh, on your face, rather. So, just relax and keep those eyes closed. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, so I'm going to be having a look with this little guy here, but also I'm going to be using this little guy here uh, just to show me if there's any blemishes or blackheads or anything clogging up the pores in your porcelain-like skin. Okay. Yeah, you've got one or two pores, which kind of proves that you're human and not an android made to look with, you know, perfectly uh, smooth skin. Okay, good. Now, simply relax. This is going to be a really bright light. I hope you're ready, because even with your eyes shut, not many people can stand this light for a long time. So it's going to come in very close, and let's check for any pores or, or rather clogged pores or blackheads. Or any flaky skin. Now, if you could kind of tilt your chin up just a little bit for me. So you're looking up to the ceiling. You're almost too good looking to be to be human. I mean that in the nicest possible way. If you can turn your head so you're looking somewhere over there for me. Perfect. You must have excellent genetics with your parents' models or something. Okay. Yeah. So it looks as though you kind of won the genetic lottery. So, I get you to turn your head so you're looking somewhere over there for me. And again. Okay. Good. You got one or two pores, one of which is clogged. I hate to break it to you, uh, but like I said, it proves that, you know, you're just like the rest of us. So I'm going to have a look now with um, a UV light, which will show up any, any oily patches on your, your T-zone. Alrighty, so still with your eyes closed, I'm going to come in very, money that when you were a teenager you didn't have any spots, any pimples, any blemishes of any kind. Some people have all the luck. Alrighty, let's just have a look along your forehead. So, the um, Top of the T zone. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, you have a tiny, tiny little bit of oil there, but nothing that's clogging up your your pores. Anything, which is very, very cool. So maintain that pose with your head in the primary position 
and uh, keeping your eyes closed if you keep still for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you've got a tiny little bit of flaky skin just at the top there. So, I'm going to be just scraping that away. Oh, don't be such a baby, it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to... no irritation um, there after I've uh, just scraped your your forehead. I'm just going to have a closer look again with this light just to check for any irritation. That's all. Okay, good. good, 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 good. Alright, that's perfect. That was a little bit of irritation there, just where I scrape the, uh, the dead skin away, but you have flawless, flawless skin. In fact, you're so symmetrical and so model-esque and so flawless. Would you mind uh, if I took just a few measurements just for my, my records, because it's not very often that you come across somebody like, uh, like you. Would you mind? Oh, you're so good. Thank you. So just one second. I'll just get my measuring kit and we'll get that done. Alrighty, so if you stay still for me, and I'm just going to get the width of your nose. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. And the length of your nose. Sorry, I must be just a little bit ticklish. I'm going to take the width of your your mouth. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we need to be a little bit more uh, exacting with the, the measurements. So I'm just going to bring this little guy here. The width of your your mouth. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Let me just get those measurements down just before I forget. Let's pop that down because we're collecting data on. Um, what kind of uh, proportions of the face defines beauty in the 21st century. So yours will go into the mix, and I'm sure yours are going to come out to be pretty much the standard definition. Okay, now I'm going to check the, uh, the inner canthus to the outer part of the eye on the left-hand side. Keep those eyes closed for me. And on the other side as well. Good. Okay. And the uh, gap between your two brows. So I'm just going to check that for you. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Good. good. Alrighty, and I'm going to check the how deep, or rather the height of your your eyes. Okay, perfect. Good. good, good, good. Alrighty, yeah, that's good. Alright, 
right, so what I'll do next is to take some big macro measurements with my trusty tape measure. So uh, just relax, keep your eyes closed, and I'm just going to measure just along your forehead. Uh huh. Perfect, perfect. And let's get that out of the way. And I'm just going to measure from cheek to cheek. Remember that song? Old timey song. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers. No? Okay. So let's just measure. Okay, it's cheek to cheek. Perfect. And I'm going to measure the, uh, from the hinge of your jaw there, your mandible to the end of your chin, so, okay, let's just turn your head just a little bit for me, perfect, perfect, and let's see what I've got here, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. good, good, good. if you turn your head the other way, fantastic, let's see what we've got here, now, I would bet good money, that you are perfectly the same on each side of your face because you look so symmetrical. Sorry, it's a little bit ticklish. Yeah. Yep. I'm not a betting man, but I was right. So let me just check your seashell like ears. So again, if you can just turn your head a little bit and see you're looking somewhere over there. And it's going to measure your ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good, good. And just turn your head again so you're looking somewhere over there. And again, I'm just going to measure your other ear. Sorry, it's a little bit ticklish. Wow. Well, well, well. Perfectly symmetrical on both sides. That is fantastic. You did very, very well. Um, no need for any treatment or anything because your, your skin is just gorgeously beautiful. Um, let me just pop in the rest of the measurements that I got. You scored a thousand million percent on the face exam integrity test, which is slightly above average, so well done you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I hope to see you soon. We'll see you again next time.